Welcome everyone. Uh, today we're going to be looking at the Mackworth satin sheet system. Um, first thing I'm going to do is put it on the bed uh, and then we'll run through the uses of it. Uh, as you can see from the sheet itself, um, it has a, an imitation satin uh, centre which is slippy and slidy. Uh, it's designed for moving people around the bed. The benefit of this though is that you can leave somebody sleeping on this, um, whereas a normal slide sheet would have to be removed each time. Uh, it has a cotton edge piece and then it has uh, a very thin and stretchy uh, outer section which is going to wrap around the mattress and hold it all in place. So I'll fit the bed sheet on the base by just hooking it around the corners like so. I'll tuck it in this side, go around and tuck it in the other side as well. So the elastic will hold all that in place. There is a label on the top of the bed and that says this side up so that goes to the head end not the foot end. The second part of this system is the top sheet which is satin backed and cotton on the top and that just lays on top. They come in different sizes so there's two widths we have a single bed and a bariatric bed width and then we have the top sheet is available in a midi size which is this one which is about two thirds of the bed length and then there is a full size maxi system which is full length um, if you need the feet covering as well. A lot of people like this single one, uh, the shorter one because having the heels on the satin uh, reduces shear and friction and heat build up when people are wriggling around so you're less likely to get pressure ulcers and pressure damage to the heels. So I'm going to tuck this top sheet in which is what we do if we had somebody lying on the bed and we just want them to move around and then I'll get my pretend patient to come and lie on the bed for me. So now that we've got Sarah on the bed, uh, I'm just going to move her around a little bit. Uh, we'll move backwards and forwards and up and down the bed just to show you how the system works. The first thing we need to do is untuck the sheet. Um, it's tucked in when a person is lying on the bed, if they want to sleep, if you're going to leave them. Um, now on this top sheet, it automatically comes with handles. Handles can be used for holding, uh, for moving uh, and sliding. A lot of care staff don't like handles, they're not used to having them, so they would tend to prefer to just hold the sheet itself. Either is fine, whatever your preference is. Come around the other side and untuck this side as well. So once it's tucked in, it kind of activates a little bit of a lock system on the side there and stops the person moving around and sliding. So let's pop that onto there. So now that the system is untucked, Sarah is basically lying on a slide sheet. That's what the satin system is. So if I take the sheet at hip and shoulder, I can then come down and I can slide Sarah towards me. I can push Sarah across the bed, depending on the person. Don't push anybody if they've got hip problems, shoulder problems, arthritic joints, etc. Uh, if somebody's just had a hip replacement, don't try pushing on the hip. In this case, I know Sarah's actually fit and healthy, so that's fine. So we'll slide this way, and we can push back that way. One helpful little tip for you when you're pushing, don't push a person like you push a car. We tend to see people pushing this way. What happens when you do that is you push down on the person creating more friction and you put a lot more pressure on the person as you push. If you turn your hands this way or sideways you push straight across the bed. So when I'm pushing Sarah my hands are this way and all the force is going straight forwards. It makes moving a person a lot easier. So I'm going to show you how to move Sarah up the bed. For that I'm going to ask Sarah to shuffle down. As if by magic, Sarah's now gone to the bottom of the bed. So if we came in, we found Sarah in this sort of position, we would untuck the sheet, which we already have done. And for single-handed care, what we want to avoid doing is trying to get Sarah up the middle of the bed, which is what we'd normally do with two people. Because the only way to do that is for me to twist this way or twist this way, trying to pull up the center. So we're gonna break it down into two little maneuvers. I'm gonna take the top sheet at Sarah's shoulder 
and I'm going to pull straight back so you're almost pulling the shoulder to your tummy and we're going to pull Sarah up the bed into the corner and then we can put Sarah back in the middle once she's up the bed instead of trying to do that twisting manoeuvre and go straight up the centre of the bed. Makes life a lot easier. So if we're going to sit Sarah up in bed now, if we've finished moving, we've, we've turned, what we would need to do is tuck the sheet in but also create a little fold because the satin is always slippy. So if we create a fold in the fabric at the bottom here, from the knee where it is at the moment to Sarah's buttock, so I'm going to fold this underneath one side and create a little fold under there. I'm going to do the same, so you'll see on this side. So I'm going to pinch the sheet here and fold it back underneath itself. By doing that, the sheet sticks against itself and you create this little lock. We then took the bed in. Took in this side as well. That little fold in place. Always use the knee brake if possible. Uh, this one has automatic knee brake. If you don't have that, then always raise the knee of the bed slightly first. It helps to stop the bed pushing Sarah down. And then we can sit Sarah up. And it's, she's not going to automatically slide down the bed. So create that little lock with that fold first.